The equations represent the balance in three different accounts x years after 2012. Based upon the three equations, which of the following statements are true? The first statement is account C had the largest balance in the year 2012. 2012 is the year the accounts were opened, and therefore we can determine which account had the largest balance in the year 2012 by looking at the value of A with the equation in the form y equals A times B raised to the power of X. A is the initial or starting value. So in 2012, account A had a balance of $900, account B had a balance of $1,100, and account C had a balance of $5,000. And therefore, account C had the largest balance in the year 2012 is true, and therefore we check this box. Next, the balance of account A is growing at a rate of 5% per year. So looking at equation A, Notice how the base B is 1.05. Because the base B is greater than one, we know we have exponential growth, and therefore the base B is equal to one plus R, where R is a percent growth expressed as a decimal. And because the base is 1.05, we should be able to recognize that R is equal to 0 0.05, which is equal to 5%. So account A is growing at a rate of 5% per year is true. Next, the balance of account C is decreasing at a rate of 85% per year. Well here we have C equals 5,000 times 0 0.85 raised to the power of X. Notice in this equation the base B is between 0 and 1, and therefore we do have exponential decay, meaning as time increases, the value of the count is decreasing and the base B is equal to one minus R, where R is the percent decrease per year. And if we set B equal to one minus R and solve for R, we get R equals one minus B. So R is not 0 0.85. R is equal to one minus B, which gives us one minus 0 0.85, which is equal to 0 0.15, which is a percent is 15%. So this account is decreasing at a rate of 15% per year, not 85% per year. This statement is false. And then the last statement is account A is growing faster than account B. We already know account A is growing at a rate of 5% per year. Looking at the second equation, notice how the base is 1.038. And because we have exponential growth, we know the base B is equal to one plus R which means in this case, R is equal to 0.038, which as a percentage is 3.8%. So account A is growing at a rate of 5% per year. Account B is growing at a rate of 3.8% per year. And therefore account A is growing faster than account B is true. Three of these four statements are true based upon the given equations. I hope you found this helpful.